Hi, I'm Mike. You may need to replace a small burner valve on your range if you notice that that specific burner on the range is not lighting properly. For this repair, you'll need a putty knife, a T15 hex bit, a Phillips screwdriver, a quarter inch nut driver, and a 5 8 wrench. Before doing any repairs, completely disconnect your appliance from its power source. To begin our repair, we're going to remove everything on the surface of the range. Once you removed everything from the top of the range, next we're going to unscrew the orifice holders that are also screwed into the top of the range. So once all the screws have been removed, pop any remaining electro clips to the inside of the range, making it easier to lift up on this front top. Using a putty knife, lift up onto the range to release it from the locks. Once the top of the range has been popped out of the lock, lift up, pull out of the left side, and slide the right side out. After the top has been taken off, we're going to remove all the burner knobs. Next, using our quarter inch nut driver, we're going to remove this front panel. Next, we'll screw the front panel from the switches on the range. Next, we're going to pull the front panel away. So once you remove that front panel on the range, the small burner valve is going to be located right here. To begin your repair, using your half-inch wrench, disconnect the burner tube from the burner valve. And next, using your Phillips head screwdriver, we're going to unscrew the clip that's holding the valve to the manifold pipe. And once that clip has been removed, just slide the switch off of the small burner valve. Next, grab your new OEM replacement small burner valve. If you don't have one of these valves already, you can find one on one of our online stores. And just take the switch, and snap it back into place on the valve, reattach the clip back onto the burner valve, and then using your hands, make sure that you place the valve correctly onto the manifold pipe. And holding with your bottom hand, make sure the valve is straight. This way when you screw it in, we won't screw it in crooked. And once the valve is firmly in place, we're going to reattach the burner tube to the valve. Once the burner tube is reattached to the valve, make sure you're ready to put it on the front panel. So next we're going to slide the front panel back onto the range. We're just going to make sure that all the switches fit through the front panel properly. So first we're going to screw the front of the panel back into the inside of the range. Next we're going to screw in the top panel to the size of the range. Do note that you might have to push in the size of the range in order for the holes to match up. Next we're going to screw the bottom of the front panel. Next grab the top of the range and we're going to slide the right side on the range into the hook and place the left side up and over so that it stays in place. Next we're going to make sure that these clips right here fit into the size of the range. Press down. Once the top of the range has been securely put back on, next using our hands, we're going to reattach the orifice holders back to the top of the range. So once all the orifice holders have been screwed back into the top of the ring, next we're going to replace all the burner caps and the burner.
After all the burners and burner caps have been put back on, next we're gonna put our burner grates back on. And after all your grates have been put back on, your repairs are officially complete. Finally, don't forget to plug in your appliance. Thanks for watching our video. Please like, comment, or share. And if you liked our video, please subscribe down below.